Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna take a short break from our current uh, playthroughs and we're gonna have a short, relaxing and chilled experience with the lovely indie game that I found on Steam. Every now and then I love to play, you know, relaxing indie games. And yeah, this one is called Townscaper, a very interesting and unique game. It's basically a town building simulator, sort of a crafting game, very uh, cute and colorful. And yeah, I hope you'll enjoy this one. Let's go. Okay, guys, so basically this is what you get when you start the game. You got like an empty canvas and that's it. You got the colors uh, to your left and we have a little cogwheel over here. And yeah, that's all you get basically. That's very interesting. There was a little loader, a very short loader, but that's it. Uh, and yeah, this one basically, you know, there's no main objective or something like that. It's not a quest. So I've kind of planned what we can do today with this uh, beautiful simulator. First of all, we will try and get used to everything. So we'll spend a moment, you know, getting used to the mechanics and checking the controls and everything. And uh, after that, I thought of trying and building something familiar. So I thought of two things, one from the cinema world and one from the gaming world, which can be interesting. Because uh, while I watched the trailer and read about this game a little bit, I kind of figured it is possible. So I thought we can build today, first of all, uh, Gondor from Lord of the Rings. So if you remember, if you saw the movie, the third movie, The Return of the King, uh, Gondor is like a huge city that is kind of built with many, many houses that kind of piled up one on another in a very round uh, shape thingy that it kind of builds up and up and it kind of forms the shape of a tower. The entire city looks like a big tower. All the houses are white. I think it is called the White City because all the buildings are white and it's a very interesting structure to try and build with this uh, game and after that we can try and do something completely different to test different uh, options in this game and that is i thought of heaven springs from life is strange because it is the complete opposite it's like a very colorful uh, little town and yeah we can test this way different things in this uh, crafting game but uh first thing first let's get used to everything um Again, there's nothing here. That's how you start the game. You got the colors. And here, I don't know if my image covers it, but you got a new file, open, settings. That's not that interesting. You got grid. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting, okay. I think we should use the grid. Yeah. What is this? Oh, I think it's a night and day thing. Oh, beautiful. Okay, interesting. So let's let's uh, test this. I think it's supposed to be very simple from what I heard. So, okay. So yeah, I click on something and it just appears. If I want to, okay, see how the camera works. You got to zoom in, zoom out. So interesting. And if I'm... Oh, okay. So I can build on top of it like uh, levels. Many different levels. Interesting. Oh, God. First of all, this is a stunning game. You know, of course, to the limits of its very simple graphics, but it already looks so beautiful. Look at it. It's so cute already. So... I'm on a red color, so let's change, I don't know, for yellow. Just to test it. We are still testing the game. Look at that. Oh, I can go like this, sideways. Oh my god. You got this supporting thing. <laughs> oh my god, look, an intersection. So I can go. Oh, guys, we got doves. <laughs> this game how cute is that <laughs> how cute is that i'd suggest you grab something to drink and try to relax with this uh, beautiful experience this crafting game i wonder if i can go as high as i want yeah look at that oh my god would you look at that once we will try to build gondor 
this will come handy. Let's go, I don't know, purple? Oh my god, guys. That is a stunning game. That is so special. So if I'll go sideways, I don't know, over here? Oh my god. <laughs> it's surprisingly satisfying. You have no idea. I should also mention this game is kind of cheap. So yeah, if you want a lovely way to relax, you should definitely try this one out. It is so unique. It is so unique. Okay, so wait a minute. I'm still testing things. I'm still testing things. I'm just clicking on everything. <laughs> Let's go. This is a sort of a blue. Wow. It is so simple. If I want to delete something, how do I do that? Oh, okay, okay, right click. And look at that, the game really adjusts itself to everything I do. So basically, no matter what I do, no matter what I click on, it just works beautifully. I just clicked randomly on many, many things. And look how pretty it is. I just made a mess, clicked on everything, and it is very pretty already. <laughs> it is so cool. It is so cool. Let's go again. Let's build something over here. It is so satisfying. <laughs> the only thing that could have been better is if we had music. Because there's no music in this game. It is so silenced. Maybe I'll add some sort of a chilled vibe music while I edit the video. Look, I just click randomly and it is so pretty. To look at that balcony I just created. Without even, I don't know, without any intention. This is stunning. So let's see, let's play if I'm going night. Look at that. Oh my god. The light. They turn on the light in the windows. <laughs> this is stunning. Night and day. Oh, I love that the lights are coming on. I love how the light appears step by step. I love it. Oh, I can control the direction of the sun. Oh, my God, this is so satisfying. This is so satisfying. You have no idea. <laughs> so, okay, what is this? We have three filters here, I think. What's that? Okay, sort of a filter, more, uh, more of a flat feeling. It is still 3D, but feels a bit more flat. Yeah. And what is this? Whoa! Interesting filter. <laughs> if I'm building Gondor, maybe I can use this one. Okay, I think, I think I understand what is going on here. So how about we'll dive into more interesting things. So as I said, I want to build two things. Try at least and build two things today. Uh, let's start with Gondor, the white city uh, in Lord of the Rings. Let's go. First of all, I need to correct myself. While Googling uh, Gondor, I found out that the specific city I want to build is called Minas Tirith. So it is a city within Gondor. So my mistake. And uh, let us begin. Of course, we are going white. And I think I need to start by creating the base. I have this picture of Minas Tirith in front of me. I opened it in my phone. So I hope we'll get it right. First of all, we need like a very wide base and then we're gonna start building the levels. Okay. So, I'm gonna start by building like a very large, you know, sort of a base. Only one floor. And on top of that, we'll start building step by step all the different levels. Can I zoom out further than this? Or maybe because the scale of on which I'm working 
Yeah, okay, now I can see more. Oh! And the grid expands. Oh, interesting. It can be huge if I want to. So I wonder if there is a way to like complete the entire first floor without clicking step by step on everything. When I drag the mouse, it rotates, so no. No, I guess I have to do it step by step. Maybe I'll do some uh, time lapse thingy in the video so you don't have to see me clicking on everything because it can be a bit tedious. So yeah, I'll use time lapse. That will work. Okay, wow, we got a base. Look at that, uh, sort of a square, huge square. It's supposed to be the base of the entire town. I call it a square, but it's supposed to be more than that. But it looks like a square. So, actually, I think we might need to increase the area that it reaches. Make it larger, but we'll have to wait and see. Because if I'm trying to create a level and each different level decrease the size of the entire town. Maybe I want to make it a bit larger, but we'll wait and see. Let's see how it works. So... Oh my god, look at that. When I destroy something, the bricks... <laughs> that little touch... It's adorable. So... Hmm. And I love there are many little details that are so cute, like... Now there are no doves. Because that's all I got. Once I build higher, then the doves will come and join. Like, you don't know what to expect once you keep on building. You got some surprises. So now that we have the base... Should I stop with the grid? Yeah, I think for now we can stop with the grid. And also... Do I want to change the light? Can make it morning. is so cool guys playing with that okay yeah sort of a morning i like it so now we're gonna build the second level which will be a lot of buildings basically that are reaching almost the edge but let's begin and this is interesting to see how it folds oh, okay already we have doves they do not waste time. oh my god they're flying <laughs> They are flying, that's so cute. So, if I keep on building... Ah, kind of creates another base. If I keep it connected. That is so interesting. So, for example, once I go to the third level, like that, I can, you know... do this for example and oh excellently so what i can do for example create it more realistic in a way by adding different levels within each level like this one so it won't be like flat and uh, kind of basic but we'll get there first let's uh, complete the first level Technically, it can be it can be called the second level, but you know this is I called it a base. What we started before. So yeah, let's keep on building this one. Look at that, a mailbox. I guess that's a light. There are many tiny details. This is so interesting. We got benches. That is so cool. So, I'm adding this gap between the base and the first level. I wonder if I want to do this. Yeah, on some areas, to keep it, you know, interesting. Oh my god, would you look at this? This game is... it is so smart, more than you think. Like, look how the creators, the devs, thought about those little details. They could, for example, just add another piece like this one 
but they overthought in a good way, not overthinking in a bad way, like they kept on thinking and creating those little elements and they decided to add stairs here in this sort of a gap I created. It is so unique. It is so unique. And here we got a, a ladder, for example. It is so interesting. Okay, let's keep on going. Got a little corner thingy over here. Why not? Oh, so you can see that over here, kind of I kind of closed this area, so again, very smartly, the devs figured figured out that this is basically sort of a garden for those apartments because it leads nowhere. So they managed to decide this will be a garden very smartly, I might add. This is beautiful, and that's actually helped us because I think on the top level of uh, Minas Tirith, there is this, uh, on that courtyard, there is sort of a little garden. If I remember from the movie. Interesting. Let's go. Okay, we got the second level and I intentionally did not do everything evenly. So, as you can see here we got this big gap from this uh, door to the edge. And here we got the uh, smaller gaps because I wanted to be to feel more random because that's how Minas Tirith feels. It's not perfect. It's like again uh, piles of building on top of each other, and this way it will feel a bit more natural. Let's uh, let's adjust a little bit more. Yeah, let's make it interesting. Okay, so now we're gonna build the third level. And basically, it's still gonna go the same way as the first and the second level. And I think uh, we should uh, keep on doing that for at least six or seven levels, something like that. And then we'll start to make adjustments to make little sort of towers. And when I'm saying little towers, I mean something like this. Let me demonstrate. Wait a minute. There you go. Like a... Uh, those kind of things, many of those spread it all around to make it feel more like Minas Tirith. But for now, we are going with the third level. Let's go. Oh my god! Oh my god, because I closed this area Look at this amazing garden that was created automatically. <laughs> wow, you got some surprises in this game. Feel bad of ruining it now. Because I need to. Maybe I'll keep some of it. No, but I'm still gonna keep on building more levels so we won't see it, so... I'll have to ruin it. Oh, jeez. That's too bad. Okay, we are making progress. We got a third level. And as I said, I want to build something between six to seven levels before I start creating those little towers. So we are still going. And I'm sorry if it's boring because everything is in the same color. But as I said, after that, I want to try and build um, uh, From Life is Strange Heaven Springs, which got all these colorful stores. So it's gonna be more interesting in terms of colors. But this, I think, is going to be more interesting in terms of, uh, you know, of structure because how it goes up and up and up. So yeah, by the way, we got a little buoy over here. Look how cute is that? And actually, we also have reflection of my town. The game got ray tracing? <laughs> of course not, but look at that. Cute reflection. Okay, and we continue building levels and now we are going to the first one. And until we get to something like six or seven, we'll continue doing that. I love when this happens. Look at this beautiful garden when I close that area. 
we'll have something like that on the top floor on the courtyard but it is so amazing look how it adjusts itself I love this this game is a good time this game is a good time <laughs> The only thing I can say, maybe over time, it feels a bit repetitive once you build a lot of uh, different structures. But, you know, I think that there are a lot of options here. So, if you put your mind into it, you can play it for a long time and you won't get bored. You can do a lot with this game. Alright guys, this is the fourth level, but we keep on going, let's go! I love this, look at that! See those stairs? In sort of a strange alley that goes from up to down that I created. I want to create one of those here as well, at the front of the city. If I manage to get it right, how did I get it? Okay, let's see if I can do it. Oh, yes! Nailed it. Nailed it. There you go. You can add even another one. It feels really, really... in line with what I'm trying to build here. Let's try to... Add another one like this. But the last one, I don't want to overdo it, of course. Uh, wait a minute. No. Hmm. Okay, that's good enough. We got one over here, one over here, and another one over there. Okay guys, we are at level number 5 and look at our Minas Tirith miniature version of it. Look how it starts to build. Again, we need more towers of this type. Of this type to give it a bit more fantasy feel, but we'll get there, step by step. So now we are going to level number 6, and then we will start, I think, uh, with the towers... No, then we will go to level 7, and then we will start with the towers, yeah. <laughs> Something like that, we'll be fine. Okay, look at that cool gap that I created. I love this. <laughs> they managed to add those little details when you start building more creative things. And it's so fun that we can zoom in. Look at that! <laughs> it is so cool. Over here as well. Oh my god, I love this, guys. Love this! So, here's the thing. We got sort of a supporting pillars here, but if I'll do this, this looks much more modern. And it's not in line with what I'm trying to achieve here once, I'm, once I decided that I build Minas Tirith. So, yeah. Okay, so we got six levels. Now we're going to level number seven. And then we will start adding those towers. And last thing we'll do is the courtyard on the top of the city. All right, cool. Let's see if we can do something creative over here. If I'll add another one to the side here. Um, again, two more than this supporting pillar. This one is nice. <laughs> I love this window. Okay, I want to keep that window, so I'll keep it. 
Okay, so this is it, level 7. Actually, we can go another level. Let's go level 8. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But it feels right. The thing about Minas Tirith, the entire city, this entire town is kind of going up and up and up in so many levels until it kind of reaches sort of point that the entire city eventually feels like a tower. So that is what I'm trying to achieve here. If I'll manage to. And now we got binoculars! <laughs> oh my god! I love those little details, guys. I love these little details. I did a bit more space to our courtyard. And here's the thing. If you remember in the movie, spoiler by the way, in the third movie, almost at the end of the movie, the king of Gondor, well, uh, the previous king of Gondor, because eventually Aragorn is the king of Gondor, the previous king of Gondor, Boromir's father, he jumped to his death. And he did that from the courtyard, he went through this uh, sort of a, sort of a cliff, little cliff that the city had it looks like an arrow so we need to create that as well and i need to choose let's say this is the front of Minas Tirith. this is the front of the city where the orcs launches their attack and this will be the courtyard so if i try to add that sort of an arrow over here i have no choice it will have some modern supporting pillars. Okay, yeah, so this could be it. I think it won't have the supporting pillars if I'll add more buildings to its sides. Yeah. The entire city should start forming that arrowhead yeah makes sense okay let me work on that a little bit let's see what i can do here what can i achieve okay interesting now the thing is that it kind of... I created this sort of a arrowhead, but it a, a little bit uh, harmed the shape of the entire city. It should be a bit wider to the sides here, I think. A little bit, not by much. So I'll adjust it a bit more, and then we'll add the towers and the courtyard. Okay, we're getting there. Almost there. I love this. Oh my god, I found a new detail. Someone hanging their clothes to dry. Look at that! Okay, uh, so yeah, this is somewhat ministerious. Now I want to... It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. It's not, uh, you know, accurate, of course. I'm using the tool that... The tools that the game got for me. But I'm doing my best. And I don't want to keep this video too long, so I think it's okay-ish. <laughs> but now we're gonna create some towers. And I'm talking... Oh, what's this? Something new popped in. Drawers or something? I don't know, interesting. Now if I want to add towers, I want to form things like this one. Yeah. Many like those. There you go. Yes, now we're talking. Let's add more. This is beautiful. I love this. Look at that. It's starting to look like a huge castle. I love this. I love this, guys. More like those. Nope. More like those. Okay, this one is ruined, so... 
All right. Ah, I love this. Creating a castle. <laughs> wow, guys, this is stunning. If you are artsy, if you like to paint, to sketch, I don't know, to sing or something like that. If you have an artsy side, if you are a writer and you like to create something, you're going to enjoy this because it allows you to be very creative. More than a building simulator, it's a, I think I'd say crafting game. It's much more of a crafting game than a building simulator. It's unique. More towers. More towers! So here's the thing, at the edge of Minas Tirith, over here, we got this huge tower. And we need to create it as well. We need to create it as well. Like there's a sort of a pointy end. Yeah, let's add this one. Now we are creating the courtyard, and I think we are kind of done. Okay, let's give a bit of a wider base to that uh, highest tower of Minas Tirith I created here. Yeah, this will make more sense. Oh, I love this little gap. Look at that. Look at this gap. I love it. I love it. So, uh, there it is. Sort of a miniature Minas Tirith, in a way. You can add more towers, I think. One over here. And another one. <laughs> I love this. I love this. So, last thing, I want to create sort of a courtyard here. And to do that, I feel like uh, if, I, if I create sort of a garden, that can do it. Now, from what I saw, if I'm building enough houses and closing the area between them, it forms a garden automatically. Let's try and do that. Bam! But I wanted to spread a bit more, so let me try and adjust it further. I wanted to get close to that arrowhead we have. Yeah, I think. Wait a minute, it should go to the edges over here, so we need to adjust it. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. You can spread a bit more to this area. Oh my god, now it looks way better. Look at that. It really changed everything. It looks much better. I think I want to expand it to this arrow head over here. If I'll manage to. I ruined the garden! Oh, there you go. Wait a tick. Yeah. Yes! I love this! I love this, guys! Minas Tirith! What do you know? <laughs> it's cute! It's cute, of course, it's not even close 
uh, to be accurate, but I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed it a lot. I'm gonna save this one and I'm gonna go and start a new file. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, it saves automatically. Beautiful. So we have Ministerit here. So now if I'll create a new file. Townscaper. So if I'll do this, let's go open. Yeah, I can go back to Ministerit whenever I want. Ah, I enjoy this. And now, as I said, before we we'll end the episode, we are building something else. I think this one will take a bit faster because it shouldn't be as complicated as what we did. So I thought of trying uh, building Heaven Spring. So Heaven Springs in Life is Strange True Colors, mm, it got basically that uh, main alley, the main street, and then you got many shops to the right and to the left including Steph's record store, of course. And it's very colorful. Every store is like a different color. So we're gonna use much more colors this time, which is why I wanted to do that. And that aside, yes, on one end, you got the lake. So everything here is water, so that will work. And on the other edge, it's a garden. And the main street is in between with all those stores. And on top of the stores, you got apartments and everything is super colorful. This will be interesting. Let's begin by creating the main structure as we did with Minas Tirith. Okay, beautiful. So we got our base and now uh, the idea is that this is the main street of Heaven Springs, Colorado. And here this is uh, the lake. This is where Alex is sitting down at the, at the end of the game, if you remember. And I'm guessing depending on what ending you choose. So yeah, for me, it ended when Alex stayed in Heaven Springs, so she sits here at the end of the game. And so the plan is to create all those shops on this side and on this side. And here we will have that huge garden. Not huge, but we'll make sort of a garden. And yeah, I think that's about it. So it's supposed to be shorter. So to create those stores, we're gonna use uh, multiple colors. So I saw purple, I saw green, yellows, and browns. So I'm gonna use those randomly, I think, uh, just to create a colorful environment and interesting and uh, cheerful, I'd say. Let's start to form sort of a line. It won't be perfect, but we will try to do it as best as we can. This is from the other direction. And I want to add more colors. Let's go with the yellows a little bit. Greens, oranges. We will use many colors. Browns. I have only light brown, but it will have to do. Wow, the colors. Makes it so interesting all of a sudden. I enjoyed building in a spirit, but it is really refreshing now. With all the colors. I love this. <laughs> Let's go with a little bit of green. <laughs> I love this. I have to create a second level because those uh, stores got apartments on top of them. Where the black uh, lantern should be? Over here, and I think it's very brown. So let's do this. I have only this light brown, looks like beige, we'll have to do. There you go. Look at us! In Heaven Springs. <laughs> cool. Alright, so 
Uh, let's go with more green, I think. No. It's too narrow, isn't it? Yeah, that's better. Okay. <laughs> it's cute. Uh, let's go with yellows. Bit more yellows over here. And here we will form the park. We'll get to it. This is an interesting green. Bit more pale. But we should have variety. Let's add some Kians and blues. Turquoise. Yeah, we should make it interesting. Okay. That's a nice start. Let's add the apartment on top. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's what I wanted to achieve. This should be the style, not with those types of roofs, I think. Actually, I should have those as well. Don't remember. Okay, that's good. Let's have a bit of this type and a bit of this type. Why not? <laughs> Does it feel like Heaven Springs a little bit? A little bit, maybe? Let's try nighttime. I love this. How about daytime? Let's go sunset. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. That sunset vibe is cool. The black lantern should have this, you know. Yeah. Cool entrance. Oh, no, actually, it's not here. Wait a minute. It's supposed to be. I hope I don't. Uh, getting it wrong. This is what I remember. I think it should be near the lake. Okay, that will be the entrance to the Black Lantern. Should be from this side, actually. Yeah. This is the entrance to Black Lantern. <laughs> and we're not talking about chair today. Okay. So cool! It's much more simpler than what we did with Gondor, with the Ministerith, of course. But it is a lot of fun. We're getting to add colors. Let's uh, get the purple one over here. Let's get blues. Orange, maybe. It's too cool. It's too cool, I love this game. Ah, nice, nice. And we got some laundry! Perfect. Okay, I think that's about it. Last thing we will do is create the park over here. Let's get... Let's close this area because otherwise it won't form, even though it should not be closed. If I won't close it, it won't form the park that I want. So now, let's create this... ...large area. I think this will be... Yeah. This would be the area of the park. I should fill this entire thing and create a park here. So let's fill it up. Alright, created the base for the park. Now I should create a second level on top of it and close it so that it will form that sort of a garden that we want. Okay. Yeah. Like we create an outer line with the, with the houses. 
for the park to form. Here we go. Almost there. <laughs> Sorry, Dubs. Interrupted them. BAM! Oh my god, I love this. This is the best moment, guys. Wait a minute. Ruined it? There you go. Oh, I love this. We can add more buildings here. A little bit. More colors. Let's uh, add some reds. Why not? We can. Browns. Orange. Oh my god, I love this. So this is the park. Unfortunately, I cannot open the path because that's what happens. So I'll close it again. But we got a park of Heaven Springs. So again, we start from the lake over here. And let's take a stroll in this town. There you go. And we are walking into the park of Heaven Springs. Oh! Ruin the park accidentally. There you go. But this is the main deal. The stores and the path, the street, that looks like a, an alley in the middle. Okay guys, I hope you did enjoy this relaxing and chilling game. If uh, you are missing our uh, main playthroughs that are currently ongoing, I'm talking about Final Fantasy, I'm talking about Resident Evil. So don't worry, those are still coming every now and then. Uh, you know me by now if you watched my uh, videos for some time. I like every now and then to play some chilled indie game to relax. Uh, you know, in my daily routine I rock a lot of hours and it is very intense. So those kind of games are a great escape to relax a little bit. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching.